Does anyone know what this icon is? Okay. Good. I'm glad. So that's what I'm going to talk about is using Snapchat. And it was an experiment this year, or this last term. Um, this is just from my phone, obviously some uh, put together. And the reason I started using Snapchat was personal. Um, my family's all in Ontario, so I've got nieces, nephews, brothers, sisters, even you can see down here, dad. <laughs> he just got it. And <laughs> my grandchild or my children, I don't have grandchildren, think that this was hilarious that grandpa's on Snapchat. Um, so it's mostly social. Uh, we take funny pictures, we send them back and forth, and it's just a way of uh, communicating with my nieces and nephews, etc. Um, then my oldest daughter, last, I guess before Christmas, she sent me a snap of a question she had. She's, she's in uh, second year university. It was a biochemistry question, and I answered it. She, she sent the question through Snapchat with a picture. And I'm like, wow, let's try this. So I told her, I said, I'm going to try this in uh, my class. And she, first she said, that's a really good idea. And then I did it. I put that on my syllabus. And of course, she knows students in my class. And she's like, are you really using Snapchat in your class? And I said, yeah. So I had uh, 211 students in uh, my 1051 course this winter. And about uh, 100 and a, little, a little less than 150 of them actually added me as a friend on Snapchat. And really what I wanted them to do was, you know, I would get email questions from students and, you know, I'd even tell them, well, take a picture of your question and, but then there's no way of interacting. I mean, there is, but it's a lot more cumbersome through email. Um, but the, when they do this, so these, I'm just going to show you a few examples of what we did. You know, they would text me the question with a picture. I don't understand how you get N equals 1 for hydroxide by inspection, and I'm not going to go through this here, but then I'd be able to text, and that's kind of the, the way we would do it with an email, right? But you have a lot more opportunity now, using Snapchat, to draw on the picture, send it back to them. And I must admit, my handwriting is a lot better with my thumb than if I'm trying to actually write on a piece of paper. Um, but you can see, you can, you know, they're having trouble with these questions. Um, I tell them where to go in the text, or sometimes I'll just answer the question right there. Um, you know, this person wasn't, uh, didn't know why a concentration cell, the E naught, would be zero. Read about it, because it's clearly in the textbook. <laughs> and a lot of times, that, that's what it takes to, to tell these students, you know, just go to the textbook. Don't always uh, come to us although I'm more than happy for them to come to us. And by using Snapchat, I get a lot more questions, an awful lot more questions now. Um, I'm not going to say I can't keep up with them, but I do get an awful lot of questions. These are just uh, more examples. They take, question, or they take pictures of you know, tests that they've done. Um, this is actually... I don't know if you can see. Oh, this is from their notes. But these are, these are questions that we go over in class. And some of them will actually have taken a picture of the slide in lecture that I've been writing. And like, why did you do that? And then I'm able to explain it afterwards. Um, more examples. So one thing that I wasn't expecting out of this uh, has to do with study groups. So this is just out of my um, syllabus that I go over every year with the students. And I'm constantly, well, not constantly, but I, I'm consistently telling them that you should be studying in groups, doing assignments in groups, and then go and do them yourselves. Studying for tests in groups. 
It doesn't seem to work just by telling them. They figured it out using Snapchat, and this was a complete surprise to me. They came up with uh, a way to connect with each other. So this one smart guy says, hey, everyone, I'm uh, wondering if anyone would be interested in getting together sometime next week, maybe Thursday, Friday, whatever. And they set up a way, a time, uh, a place in the library where they were going to meet. So I went back to the class and I said, look what this brilliant guy did. And they all started doing this. Not all, but you get, I'm exaggerating. This, they also um, started asking questions, not just to me, but to the group that I put them in. And then they are answering their own questions. So just like a um, uh, discussion on uh, D2L or whatever, but they're using Snapchat to do it. And the odd time I pipe in. Um, this FFR is sort of a funny thing. I knew it was going to catch on, but this year, you know, I, students get taught this 500. Who's a chemist? Few, okay, so you've probably heard of the 500 rule that they teach in high school for equilibrium. No? If the uh, amount, the, the, constant, the initial concentration over the equilibrium constant is greater than 500, then they can use the x is small rule. So they teach this in, in high school without letting them, without telling them what it is. But it's the, the 500 rule isn't really correct. If you actually go through it, it turns out to be the 400 rule. So I went over this with my class and showed them that the 400 rule is actually exact. Um, and then I named it after myself, the Phrygian, <laughs> Phrygian 400 rule. And they uh, put this on their tests, so TAs actually Snapchatted me, what's FFR? <laughs> so it did catch on. But they, uh, yeah, they're, they're answering their questions using, or their own questions using Snapchat. So after I, used this, and I was giving a talk at Memorial, I thought, maybe I should go and see if there's any literature on using Snapchat in the classroom. And surprisingly, there isn't very much. Um, there's a few things, mostly, you know, makes you look cool. That's about it. Um, for us older generation professors, a way of, you know, being with the in crowd. Uh, but there was actually a chemist who's um, just published a paper in 18 on using Snapchat. And he's got a really interesting way of, of using it with his students. And it's more or less to, you know, take, he takes pictures. Here's some more examples. Uh, he takes pictures and relates this to lecture material or course material. So, you know, the one over here, time for a new hairstyle. Hair gels are comprised of cationic polymers, which react with amino acids and ker keratin, allowing the gel to harden, maintaining your hairstyle. So <laughs> relating the chemistry to every day. And what a fantastic way to use uh, this technology to bring chemistry to the students on their level. Now, will I use it again? Absolutely. I'm not going to stop using it, because I think it has a lot of potential. Um, the students really like it. The students really use it. I have lots and lots of questions now. And students, for some reason, don't come to my office very much. I mean, I'm pretty open, um, approachable, but I don't know whether they just don't have the time, but now they have the time. I mean, I'm answering questions in bed, uh, watching TV. Um, it's easier for me than using any other sort of platform that I've used. I mean, Snapchat is just, it's instantaneous. You can write on it and send it back to them. It's, it's quite easy to use. Um, there are some issues. <laughs> Snaps disappear, but you can set it up that they don't disappear. I just haven't, I'm not that fluent with Snapchat. Uh, I've stumbled across being able to do that, but uh, I'm not entirely sure how to do it if you want to. Um, I'll use a class account rather than my account because there's, there are some uh, issues with, you know, being able to see your students' stories, which 
I don't think you want to see. Um, so I'll use a personal account and allow students to add the class, but not add them so that I can't see their personal accounts. Not that I'm going looking at their personal accounts, but you can. Um, I also use it with my research group, mostly for travel, mostly for fun. Um, you know, this is one of my students who's supposed to be writing a thesis, and I say, that doesn't look like thesis writing to me. But uh, we mostly having fun with it. That's really all I had to say. <laughs>